and please bear with me for this questions and answers video because I know my background is not the most aesthetically pleasing. I have mentioned to you guys that my husband and I are very slowly unpacking so we still have nothing on any of our walls and I don't have a good indoor recording spot yet. So it is a work in progress, I promise. All right, so this is actually going to be the very first questions and answers video that I have made, wherein I'm going to focus on answering one question as opposed to three more lighthearted, shorter questions, just because I have had a few people mentioning this to me and talking to me about this topic since I guess there had been a really popular YouTube video that had been made. I don't even remember who made it. I saw it myself because a friend showed it to me. So even though quite a few other people have already touched on this issue and I know almost everyone is excited and losing their minds over the fact that there is going to be a Final Fantasy VII remake, I thought let me just go ahead and put my cards on the table and honestly let you guys know what I think about this whole debate and this whole issue. So for those of you who are not aware, there actually is some sort of petition that is circulating where people are basically arguing that Tifa's breast size should be reduced for the remake. And I don't want to go into all of the reasons why some people feel this way and why some people disagree with this. Instead, I am just going to answer honestly the question that has been asked of me lately, and that is, do I think Tifa's breasts are too large? So there are going to be two answers in this video. The first one is going to be kind of my Cliff's Note version for those of you who don't really give a shit as to reasons why or you don't really care about the discussion aspect. You're just curious. Rabbit, honestly, do you think her boobs are too big? And honestly, truthfully, from the bottom of my heart, I do not think her breasts are too big and I do not think they need to be reduced. There is a whole other component to this debate that I want to kind of bring to the table. So I have noticed a lot of the dialogue that has been exchanged among different people who are arguing either for or against this is a couple of people feel as though the reason why her breast should be reduced comes from the fact that there needs to be more representation of women in video games or they feel as though even if there is a variety in a certain game the variety should be realistic and those portrayals of women should be as realistic as possible and kind of piggybacking off of that specific idea and that specific statement I have seen it numerously stated that someone who is that small it's it's not that likely that she would naturally have very large breasts. Someone who's going to have as large of breasts as Tifa does would be larger waisted or would be a little bit heavier set in terms of her body fat, blah, blah, blah. So I want to tackle this as someone who is naturally busty and naturally small. And I'm a pretty modest person with my channel, so I know a lot of you don't really see my cleavage very much or I don't really wear low cut things just because, you know, my line of work is very conservative. You know, I was working in research and adult education, so I was always going to conferences and things like that. So I had to wear, you know, business attire. And now that I'm going to be working in a school teaching, I have to wear business casual so I have never really been in the position I guess to where I have just had a lot of clothes that are revealing not that it matters if you want to wear that stuff go right ahead but I have been for the most part very modest I would say so I think this is going to come as a surprise to a lot of people that I am a fairly large chested woman for my size so I am four foot ten inches and I weigh about 110 pounds as far as my bra size is concerned I am either a 32 double D or 34 D just depending on the make of the bra the brands what specific cut for my size I have a fairly large bust and I'm a pretty fit girl you know I work out so okay, hopefully I've helped to establish at least one facet of this that bothers me a little bit, and that is the general statement that girls who tend to have larger breast sizes either have to be heavier set or they're more than likely plastic and their breast size isn't real if they are of a lower body weight. Now I don't like this line of thinking because I feel as though it's a bit hypocritical that a lot of the times the people who are constantly saying, oh we need more diversity, we want more representation of women, we want everybody to be considered beautiful, we want every body type to be considered beautiful, and you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you've heard people saying these sorts of things before. But what 
drives me nuts about a lot of these types of people that espouse this generic statement or these types of generic statements is that a lot of them who are screaming, you know, we want more diversity, we want more realistic representation, they tend to also be the ones that like to try to put out other people's flames. So, so basically the analogy or the statement that I've always liked when thinking about these kinds of people is that in order to have their light shine, they feel like they need to put out somebody else's light. Now this kind of thing can be easily seen when you see a lot of the body acceptance campaigns that are going on right now where you'll see a lot of women who are saying, you know, curves are great, curves are beautiful, we're sexy too, and nobody likes skin and bones and skinny women aren't real women or they'll say this is what a real woman looks like or it's so nice to finally have real women in magazines and those are still hurtful statements because there are plenty of women who are naturally thin and I'm not saying that I'm a very thin person you know for my height I could easily dip down into the 90s and still be a healthy body weight so I consider myself to be an average body type for my height. But it just drives me nuts that I keep seeing so many people saying that the whole reason for wanting to change Tifa's breast size is simply due to the fact that it's not realistic when I think that that in and of itself is a very backwards mentality and a very backwards mindset because I alone could name at least 15 almost 20 of my girlfriends who are naturally built that way where they are very slender you know, thinner than I am and have breasts that are larger than mine. So the other approach that I want to take to this argument and why I want to support that I really do feel Tifa's breasts are fine and they don't need to be changed for the remake is that I actually played the game and I feel as though from my experience playing the game, not just hearing what other people are saying about the game or what they're saying about the character, she was a well-rounded, no pun intended, contributor to the actual progression of the story and the advancement and development of other characters. I don't know if there are any people who have never played Final Fantasy VII before, but if there are, I won't give you any spoilers, but let me just say, without Tifa, I don't think Cloud would have been able to actually grow and advance in the way that he did within the game's story. Now, I will confess, I have never been exposed to Advent Children, and I don't know any of the other lore revolving around Final Fantasy VII. I have only played the original PlayStation 1 game. So, I guess it's possible that maybe Tifa wasn't presented in the same manner in whatever else she was in, like she was in Final Fantasy VII. But speaking as someone who played the original game and is speaking in the direction of the remake and regarding the remake, I thought Tifa embodied loyalty. She was strong. She was brave. She was a good character. So what I keep asking people when I've been talking to some of my friends about this is, what really about her do you think needs to change? Is it just because her breasts are large? Do you feel like she was sexualized in the game because of her breast size? Because just because someone is sexy doesn't mean that they are being sexualized. And honestly, when you think about the diversity in that game in terms of the female characters, I thought Final Fantasy VII did a wonderful job of presenting, for the most part, well-rounded female characters who, you know, all had their different little quirks and their different personalities, and they all played a very different role. I mean, hell, I'm not saying that Final Fantasy VII is an amazing game. It's not my favorite Final Fantasy game, and I'll be honest with you guys, I personally think it's overrated, and if someone had asked me what I thought was deserving of a high-definition remake or remastering, I wouldn't have picked seven. I probably would have actually picked six or even eight before seven. I don't know. With all of these things that I've said, hopefully you're kind of seeing my point that I just feel as though a lot of the people who are blindly targeting Tifa's breasts and carrying on about how they need to be shrunk, I don't think hardly any of the arguments that I've seen have actually made sense or been valid. If you have actually played the game and you feel like her breast size somehow changes the way that she was portrayed in the game and her ability to grow as a character, I would love to actually hear what your stance on this is. But so far, most of the people that I've seen who are actually ranting and raving and saying that her breasts need to be pretty much reduced by half, a lot of them, it doesn't seem like they actually played the game and like they actually understand what Tifa's personality was and what a great character and contributor she was. I guess my thinking about it is this. If Tifa's breasts were smaller, would that change your opinion on her? 
Would she still be as courageous to you? Would she still be as strong and, and loyal and brave? I think she would still be all of those things. So if that's the case, your beef really shouldn't be with her breasts because her breasts really didn't have anything to do with who she was or who she is and how she kind of played out and developed as a character in the game. So that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts. Again, I guess just to bring this all back around full circle, I love Tifa. She's not, in my opinion, the best video game character out there, and she's not even my favorite character from Final Fantasy VII, but I don't think she's deserving of a petition that is focusing solely on reducing her breast size because the points that I've seen are all pretty much baseless and asinine. And truthfully, I don't even know how many of these people that are a part of this petition have actually played through the game. So that is it from me, you guys, from one busty gal to supporting my girl Tifa. I just think that if you're going to be having this conversation about what is realistic, I think you need to include men as well because... Can we be real? How many guys are actually built like some of the male video game characters that we see? Let's be honest. How many men actually look like Barrett? Yes, there are some, but not that many. But you don't see as much of an uproar about that. And, you know, that's okay. I'm all for people wanting to champion these movements and wanting to seek out more diversity and representation. And, and I like that people are even bringing up these conversations. But the fact that there's a petition about this... I, I don't even have words to describe what I think about it. Okay, that's a lie. I do have words to say what I think about it, and I pretty much put them all out on the table. So I know I kind of approach this from two perspectives, one being more from a, a personal one as a large-breasted girl for my size who doesn't think that it's a healthy mentality to try to slander or bash one group of people just to make your group or the group that you identify with feel better. So again, as a very popular example, the whole, you know, curvy women versus slender women and how you see very often that in some campaigns for curvy women, they use language that's very belittling and demeaning towards women who are naturally thin. And I mean, you see it vice versa as well, but that is just an example that I think a lot of people can readily recognize. But okay, I'm done. I know you guys aren't one of the university classes that I teach any of my body image mumbo jumbo to, so I'm not going to go on a spiel about that. I am just going to gracefully bow out and I would love to hear your thoughts on this petition and you know if you think her breasts need to be reduced by all means you know stand up for what you believe I I think it's good for people to have healthy conversations about things so it's okay to agree to disagree but I am just letting you guys know how I feel about the issue like I said from my perspective as someone who naturally is smaller and has large breasts as well as someone who has played the game and views her as the well-rounded diverse character in a game that has other diverse characters or at least in the context of its female characters and how they're presented I think that should be recognized and it shouldn't just be okay this character passes this character passes this character passes wait a second this one has humongous titties we don't care what she's like those titties need to be reduced because that's not normal someone that small wouldn't have breasts like that and she's wearing a crop top Rah! just no nah. I, I, I just, I don't understand. So by all means, if you think her breasts need to be reduced, but you actually have a good valid reason or you have a perspective that maybe I haven't seen out there, I would love to hear it uh, because who knows? You know, it might help enlighten me. It might help me see this from a different perspective that I hadn't considered because out of all of my girlfriends that I've talked to, I told you I have about 15 really good friends who are very thin and naturally have large breasts. And I've talked to a lot of them about this because they're gamers too. Our all dorks pretty much. We all are pretty much in unison that we like Tifa, we like her titties, and we don't think that they should be changed just for the sake of changing them when there's nothing else arguably wrong with her character. So that is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this single topic Q&A. I do plan on eventually having a nice background setup, kind of how before I had my husband's little library and his bookshelf behind me. I'll figure out something better than a white wall and a closet, but for now, please bear with me as I continue to unpack.
Well, take care of yourselves until my next questions and answers videos. And by all means, if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave me a comment, shoot me an email, or you can send me a private message on Facebook. I'm pretty good about responding to all of them, albeit a bit slow lately due to my life being absolutely insane. But still, shoot me a line. I would love to hear from you. All right, guys, that's it. I'll talk to you later.